Um, I'm, I'm probably sharing this, I guess, because of uh, the experience. Um, uh, how do I put this? Well, about 35 minutes ago, I'm sitting here uh, basically in a state of peace. And then I'm hearing something right outside my window make a noise. And so when I went to look out who was outside there, um, I saw somebody wearing a hoodie and a ball cap. And all you could see was just sort of part of the face, right? Um, so I, I do this more often than not nowadays. I remember when Og Telly's uh, said there's going to come a time when people are going to start looking at each other and going, who are you? Okay. <laughs> because when the truth begins to find out and realize not everybody was was cut from the same genetic cloth, some were put together in a factory as an android and a cyborg, you know, all, all that stuff, right? Which means... The knowledge of Star Wars and everything they saw in the real Star Wars was true. You know, technology, communication system, teleportation, beam me up, Scotty, all the rest of that, right? Uh, so I asked this girl what star system she was from. I, I've become more uh, doing that more often, right? Um, and, and I guess I, I have to admit it's like you already know the answer to that. <laughs> As Patty said to us, two out of every three people that you meet are not human. They're not from here. Well, the only way you're going to know that is ask somebody. If nothing else, you can engage in a conversation where you open up a conduit, an information channel, to, to spread more light and spread more information uh, that may be through the grapevine, what we used to call a coconut wireless in Hawaii, information begins to spread. You know something? I met some guy today who said he was a native, native Indian and he was asking me, what star system am I from? What star system am I from? Where are you from? Uh, here, I guess. Really? How do you know that? How do you really know that? You, they begin to look at each other. Where am I from? They don't know either, do they? You'd be surprised. I, I, as I mentioned before in a previous video, I asked that to a guy in a park outside a Target store in downtown San Francisco. When was that? About five or six days ago. He said, hey, are you talking to me? I said, yeah. What star is this to me from, buddy? In a very matter-of-fact way. No threatening voice. Just almost like being friends. A friendly way. Well, you know, like, hey, what star system are you from, buddy? You know? Like, you're curious, like, wow, tell me about where you come from. Like, that's exciting. And you want to know something? He, he looked at me, and then he didn't, he didn't say nothing. He turned right around and walked away. Left the entire grounds. Wow. Well, usually, I mean, I don't know about you, but uh, when I see another person that looks like they might be native Indian, of course, you can sort of tell if you're a native Indian to begin with, right? So usually when I ask them, hey, what tribe are you with? And they'll tell you. I'm Navajo. I'm an Apache. I'm Chippewa. I'm Cherokee. You know, Cherokee. You know, Mohican. Seneca. You know, Iroquois. You know, Lakota. You know, Hopi. Hi, right? Yeah, they know. They know what tribe they're from, right? So anyway, what was what was really sad and painful is that, um, and you, you you know these things, okay? So I said, what ha what happened to you? You've been traumatized, haven't you? Okay, and she immediately, and I say she, I didn't know she was a she. I actually thought it was a he. Okay, not that I could tell with a hoodie and a baseball cap and just like, just part of the face with the eyes and a nose. That's pretty hard to tell just from that, right? 
So I began seeing if I could engage and open up a conversation. And as soon as I began to talk about, did your parents show you any love? What have you been through? Okay. And uh, when she got up and turned around and looked at me, I realized it was a girl, not a boy. Okay. So it's it's just uh, you know reality sets in because when you've been here in the United States of America for seven years that I have anyway, and you. You know, you simply add up the calculator of the damage that's been done, the, the trauma, okay? The amount of abuse uh, that was allowed to perpetuate itself in this country, actually on the whole planet, um, that results, because I go from town to town to town to town, and that's what I measure. I measure how much light has been lost, okay? Which is basically doing a a qualitative assessment of the electromagnetic grid going from place to place to place because I can measure the loss and gain in a pretty large area, okay? Um, and that's the way it is everywhere I go. From a big city to a small city, you can measure the loss and the gain, and that is a result of the enormous amount of trauma that everybody has suffered on this planet so you begin to realize when the girl's shield is down 25%, that's an enormous amount of loss of light, which is an enormous amount of high-frequency energy that's been lost there as a result of, of harvesting electrons. Because that's what trauma does, which is a loss, enormous loss of light, which is enormous loss of energy. Okay, so we measure that. And in a much larger way, as I've mentioned before, that's a measurement of a classroom. How many beings did we graduate out of here? Well, if I looked at that young lady that looked like she was probably 19 years of age, what kind of a future do you think she has? Okay. I asked her, um, did your parents love you? Did they show you any kind of love at all? Okay. I could cry buckets of tears for weeks on end just knowing what happened to that one girl. I'm beginning to wonder whether she's ever in her entire life ever experienced any love from anybody. So, um, it's... Um, it's why when you come into these communities to try and bring some love and light in here, it's extremely painful because you realize what happened to all these beings. And why, in a very real way, when you hear all the loud noise and you see all of the yelling and the screaming and the acting out, are actually children who've been abused looking for attention because they didn't get any love. That's the truth of it. Millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of children were abused on this planet. That's on us. And I'm not in fear of saying that about the light because I represent the light. Okay. That's why I have to experience all this pain. Decisions were made, rightfully or wrongfully, okay, that led to what happened. And I'm not going to walk away from taking responsibility for that. Which is why I came in here to experience this. I had to. That's why I had to take all the measurements that I did. That's why I had to experience everything that I experienced here. Because there ain't no way that a teacher is ever going to be able to sit into a classroom of students to show them how this works. If you're not willing to experience it, to show them how it works. So that they don't have to experience what I did and what everybody else did who represents the light. 
It came in here. So it's up to us to solve the problem. That's why Patty Broussard came in here to do what she did. And that's one of the reasons why I said on my video, the success of how successful the light is here, I will know it. When I stop seeing chemtrail planes flying over my head, okay, which is not a natural occurring event, okay, that's not what nature does. That's not what she does, okay? Most of the beings that are on this planet are not even native to this planet, okay? Look at what happened to her. That's the result of what was allowed to happen here, okay? Because it's not like we can't know the future when we allow certain things to happen using a big calculator. Because our calculators are bigger than theirs. Okay? That's why it's on us. Future proves past, remember? Who had the future secured? So now we have to add up how much we lost versus how much we gained. Because it's always going to be a measurement of how much suffering we experience. It's written into the record. Okay? That's why I knew that we already won this as a child. That's why I didn't want to have to go through what I was going to have to go through when I was eight years of age because I already knew what I was going to have to experience it. I didn't want to have to experience as much pain and suffering because I don't have to be another child to be able to experience it. I experienced it in that girl right there and began wanting to come in here and cry for the next hour of somebody that I don't even know as a result of what happened here. So that's my way of being able to release it, is to share it all into the grid and let it just go. Because I can't hold on to it. That's what used to ca cause so much inner rage that I had when I was around 10 and 11 years of age, they couldn't figure out where that rage was coming from. Well, it's real simple. It's not like I'm not aware of the fact that they're raping and pillaging the spiritual goddess in this planet. I was aware of it as soon as my circuits were up and running. And to know that something or anything is raping a girl that I know that I have a spiritual communication relationship with me causes an enormous amount of rage when you realize that she's giving you free energy, which is love, forever. And when you realize that your spiritual mother that loves you so much, and yet you're still willing to pillage and rape her, that's a measurement we take in the cosmos of what kind of being that is. That's the truth. So I figured I needed to get my truth out because that's what I experience here. So I share my experiences, which is what is true. So anyway, it is my truth that knows that the light won. And I hope that you can feel that within your heart and soul to know that as well. That is the true salvation I know that I have within my own heart and soul that this planet was finally liberated from the dark. Anyway, have a good evening. I love you all. At some point in time, I'll go to the Redwoods and start writing my love letters to her for everything that she gave us for free. Have a good night. I love you all.